Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in Five. Individuals in some parts of the world continue to persevere through different types of pandemic-related lockdowns. And as social distancing and self-isolation continue, some people wonder about the impact these broad social changes have, not just on our jobs and well-being, but also our relationships. As many couples in particular spend more and more time in rather close quarters, there's been a lot of curiosity about what being stuck in your home with your partner might do to relationships. Are couples growing closer together or is love tearing them apart? Early on in the global pandemic, certain countries and members of the public suggested that with people locked in their homes with few options for stimulation, it was possible that the birth rate in approximately nine months time might spike. However, reports from China suggested that as the pandemic and lockdown wore on, more and more couples started to see the cracks appear in their relationships. As couples were released from their confinement, more partners than expected made one of their first stops back out in society at the lawyer's office. One Shanghai divorce law firm noted a 25% increase in their regular business. Couples found they no longer had the physical or psychological space that they were used to, and for many, divorce represented the best option. These previous stories had people fairly worried about the state of the world's relationships and bedrooms. That being said, some more recent research suggests that a slightly brighter picture was being painted for long-term relationships. A new poll conducted by Monmouth University in the U.S. suggests that many couples are weathering the storm of stresses that are breaching their homes. Despite changes in work, caring for kids or other family members, and the existential dread about potentially catching the novel coronavirus, most of the couples surveyed noted that they were satisfied with their relationships. 74% of those surveyed noted that their relationship had remained about the same since the pandemic started, while 14% noted that their relationship was better to some degree. Additionally, 90% of couples noted that they were fighting to the same degree as before, or in some cases, less than before lockdown began. 97% of those surveyed think they'll come out of the pandemic either with the same strength of relationship as before, or think that their bonds will be stronger. Overall, it seems most couples are fairly optimistic about their marriages or long-term relationships as the lockdown rolls on. It's possible that couples aren't seeing themselves as stuck at home with just any old person. Most couples note that their spouse or long-term partner is more than that. They're also their best friend. In that light, it's possible that going through these stressful and uncertain times can be made a whole lot easier when you get to walk through these challenges with your best friend at your side. It's not to say that in all cases, everything's fine and dandy. In several regions, there have been concerns about increased reports of domestic abuse. With people unable to leave home, typical avenues of support might not be accessible to those in unfortunate home circumstances. The pandemic has brought around new challenges in venues many, many could not have predicted. But we'll at least take comfort in the fact that, at least in some cases, couples are feeling less stuck in the middle of with you and more, you're my best friend. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Humans in 5. And don't forget to subscribe.